What's going on everybody? Mike with Sunny Slope Homestead. Hope everybody's having a great Friday night. Hope you guys have a good weekend. Uh, well, we just got off work and I just got in some comfy clothes and I looked outside to see chickens running in my front yard. So we're going down to see what the chickens are up to. Uh, this will be uploaded. This is actually Thursday night, so I'm actually uploading on Friday. So this is a pretty quick video, but I wanted to show you a couple things that changed around here. One of them being this wall. Yep. I don't know if you guys remember, but we took out this wall. Oh, we had bushes here and we had a, um, oh, what do you call it? A, um, you don't make any sense at all. Elderberry. We had an elderberry bush here. We had some other things here. There's a lot of weeds, roads, bushes, and stuff like that. But we had it all tore out. We actually had a wall put in so we can level this out because we are going to be putting in like a little greenhouse up here. So we got that coming. But I've got chickens trying to get out right now. Check this out. You guys pushing through everywhere. Huh. How are you getting through? Can I chase you back through there? Oh, they are hungry, people. Hungry. Oh, yeah. You guys have been doing pretty good. Actually, really good. Their area is not too bad. Oh, run. Run. They're getting big. You guys are getting big quick. Oh, man, it is ripe down here, though. How are you guys getting out? Huh? Huh? How are you guys getting out? I ain't saying nothing. Oh, we had some big storms come through. And I was really worried about losing that hoop house. I really thought that thing was going to go up in there and it was going to be Gandhi. Because uh, we lost some pretty big trees. You see these guys following me? You guys need fed, huh? Feed me Seymour. You going to follow me like this? Look at that, look at that. Pushing its way through. That's all I know why. Because my son forgot to plug in the fence charger. Well, that'll change him. So that's what happens when you don't plug in the fence charger. Look at this guy. Fence charger's on and he's still trying to get through. I'm telling you, these birds are just too tough. Oh, wow. Well, look at that, guys. You see that? Something's been chewing at my fence. That is no good. Oh, my gosh. What's been going through here? I'm not sure how that happened. That could have been goats chewing up a down fence when the electricity wasn't on. But, uh... We gotta get that repaired tonight because we don't want any troubles with uh, predators. But here, here is my greenhouse. I got this from a neighbor. He was throwing it out. It used to be a kind of a storage shed type of uh, tarped shed. And we are going to turn this into a greenhouse. We'll put the UV greenhouse plastic on this and I'll frame it out, put a door in here. We'll build shelves. And that's what's gonna go up on top of that wall. Oh my gosh. I haven't really looked at this since the storm, but uh, we lost a big tree there, and we lost a big tree there, and thank God it all went in the ravine. The bad part is, and I'm not gonna build to chop it up for firewood because it's in the ravine. Let's get the repair kit, get this fence fixed up before um, we start having some issues. Yeah, so when you buy these poultry nets, they come with, uh, they come with little repair kits, so you can take care of this uh, things just like this. So. I'm going to try to figure out how to repair this fence with these little repair kits we got. So that would be interesting because I've never had to repair one before. I did have a farmer uh, dump off some manure and rip my fence in half, but I just kind of tied it back together. But we're going to try to do it the right way.
Yeah, I still got a little bit of a hole here, but we'll wind up zip tying that up. Whew, it's a little warm, really humid out. Watch these guys. That is one funny thing about chickens, these meat birds. They'll follow you anywhere. They think there's food involved. Let's see if they, you get them, they coming? You guys hungry or what? You guys think I can get them coming the other way? Let's try it. So you might be asking, Mike, just feed those chickens already, would you? But the way we do it is we pretty much, we're kind of doing like this free range thing. But have you ever tried to get 80 chickens back into hoop house because we do have an owl problem here and he has claimed one of these chickens already so yeah we feed at night when when it's time to put them away getting close to dusk about right now we'll take a bag of feed we'll have a bag of feed we'll pour it in the coop area they all run in there and eat they'll go to bed with happy full bellies and we don't have to change Ooh. We don't have to chase we don't have to chase chickens around and throw them in there one by one and everybody's safe at night we can go to bed knowing that we're not going to lose any birds now we lost two in the beginning um natural and then we had one owl attack so with an owl we're down Ooh, that fence is hitting hard now well that i knew that fence was broken down there that's how they're getting out with that owl what are we down three birds not too bad out of 85 Think we're doing pretty good but uh yeah that fence definitely wasn't hitting hard it was broke on that low half so oh man they're feeling it just having those two strands busted right there it knocked out the whole bottom row all the way around the whole perimeter and caused yeah and caused the chickens not getting uh not to get hit now this fence i was using for the goats up there so i'm thinking that's not that's not raccoon damage. That's not rodent damage. That's goat damage. That it looks like a goat was chewing on that when the power was off. So yeah. Well, I think the chickens are learning their uh, place where it comes with this fence. They're learning not to mess with it, lean up against it. I don't think we're gonna have any more loose chickens. Well, these guys are crazy hungry. So let's feed them real quick and I will show you what it looks like when food is involved because they get nuts. You guys see how I dumped that feed in that trough for that bull and they're getting too big for that now. Now they're just like swarming that thing like piranha. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some of this white pipe here and we're gonna cut it in half. We're gonna make a little trough out of it. So all them birds are gonna have an opportunity to get a little bit of food and then we'll just pour it right down in there from the outside. So you don't get that mess going on right now, them fighting for food. Yeah, it's not a pretty sight. Yeah, with the storms and everything, our solar chargers, they're, they're dead. They died out. We went to the plug-in chargers. We actually lost power there for a moment, and we had to use the backup generator. Now, I have two generators. One's gasoline, one's multi-fuel. My gasoline one that I was working on in the wintertime that you guys saw, I'll post the link up there to that video. Well, she didn't start up for me when I needed it, so we had to uncrate the new generator that I got. Uh, it's a 12,000 watt and that was enough to power the house to keep everything going But I don't know if you guys know about The storm that went through here or not, but we had 95 mile per hour winds that basically Tore through all these trees Knocked everybody's power out. There's people in Omaha right now Still don't have power They declared a um, an emergency because of the storm But nonetheless we uh we fared out pretty good. We have a lot of trees around here and knock on wood, we only had a couple fall in the goat pen my son took care of, and the ones out in the woods. I haven't gone on the back property yet to find out what fell out there, but I don't really matter. It don't bother us none, but this wall, on the other hand, 
we're going to be putting this greenhouse right through here. We'll level it out more and we'll be putting our pots and stuff down here. And that's pretty much where we flatten this whole area out. So we can put a greenhouse, cucumbers, tomatoes. We got some potting stuff up there, raised gardens here. But what I really like about the whole thing is not necessarily what's going on up here because this is going to get really good morning and afternoon sun and then uh, in the evening these trees will block it so we're not going to be cooking that greenhouse but the raised beds that i'm going to be putting down here is going to be amazing so things are starting to come together this wall has been a work in progress i'll tell you what we've been saving our money to do this project for a long time and it's finally happened the greenhouse it fell in my lap all i have to do is frame it out mount it to the ground and actually put the plastic over it and build the shelves in it and we should be good but that's a little bit of an update of what's going on right here and right now in the moment um with the storms and everything we didn't have a chance to make a video like i tend to like do the funny editing and stuff so i felt like i didn't want to leave you guys without a video and i figured this would be a good time to let you guys know what's going on on our homestead and how the chickens are doing and our new improvement with the wall and our plans for the future so if you guys like the video go ahead and hit that like button subscribe if you like it really does us a lot of good around here and uh, i'll see you in the next episode thanks guys